With water covering 71% of the Earth's surface, tons of valuable artifacts are bound to be lost. This can include everything from sunken ships to entire cities. Some of these lost ancient relics are worth billions of dollars and tell us a lot about how ancient people lived. Thanks to new technology, underwater archaeologists are able to find things more easily and quickly. We can't know what they'll find in the future, but we can look at what they've already found. Ocean Reef has tires. At the time, it seemed like a great idea, so a group of fishermen started a campaign in the early 1970s to dump 2 million used car tires into the Atlantic Ocean about a mile off the coast of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, between two living coral reefs. The goal was to make an artificial reef that would support marine life. But what happened was that the tire mass turned into an underwater blight. Broward County and the Army Corps of Engineers approved the plant package, and millions of tires were also dumped into the water. Environmentalists have been trying to get rid of old tires for decades. About 40 Navy, Army, and Coast Guard divers load their gear onto boats at a Coast Guard base in Dania Beach, Florida. This plan was made by county, state, and federal officials. After spending the day pulling tires from the sea floor, the area where they've been working is about 70 feet below ground and covers 34 acres. This month, military divers worked for two weeks to remove tires from the area where they had caused the most damage, removing most of the sea life from what was once a living reef. Sea monsters come up from the bottom of the Baltic. A ship's figurehead from the 15th century was brought to the surface after spending more than 500 years at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. The wooden sea monster was attached to Denmark's king's warship. The grip shunned the crib, which caught fire in 1495 and sank. It is thought to be the best preserved ship from that area in the world. The carving shows a creature with lion ears and a crocodile's mouth. It is holding what looks like a human figure and weighs 660 pounds. It was carved at the end of an 11-foot beam and stood at the ship's prow. It is a one-of-a-kind figure for several reasons. The ship's name, Grebsunden, means grip dog, which could be the creature in the carving. The artifact is now being kept in a water bath at the Black and Gay Museum storehouse. The archaeologists hope to find more wreckage and learn more about shipbuilding in the 15th century, when Columbus and Vasco da Gama were sailing the high seas. The oldest ship ever found Ancient Greek shipwreck artists were found at the bottom of the Black Sea. It is thought to be the oldest shipwreck of its kind ever found. It changed our understanding of shipbuilding and sailing in the ancient world. The Odyssey shipwreck was found in a well-known shipwreck graveyard in the Black Sea, where more than 60 other ships have been found. The ship was found on its side about 50 miles off the coast of Bulgaria by a remotely controlled submarine piloted by British scientists. The ship is submerged in more than 1.3 miles of water in the Black Sea, where the water is anoxic, meaning it doesn't have oxygen, so organic material can last for thousands of years. A small piece of the ship has been carbon dated and found to be from around 400 BC. This makes it the world's oldest known shipwreck that is still in one piece. It was discovered during the most recent expedition. Late in 2017, a group of archaeologists found what is now known as the world's oldest ancient shipwreck. It was a Greek ship or training vessel with a design that had only been seen before on ancient Greek pottery, such as the Siren Phase in the British Museum. The oldest shipwreck ever found is thought to be a Greek shipwreck. The ship could shed light on the ancient Greek legend of Odysseus, tying himself to a mast to avoid the sirens. The vase shows Otis, the hero of Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey was tied to the mast of a similar ship while fighting off sirens. Greek is one of Homer's two most famous epic poems from ancient Greece. Scholars think it was written around the end of the 8th century BC in Ionia, a Greek coastal region of Anatolia. It is one of the oldest works of literature and is still read by millions of people. A worldwide poem like the Iliad is broken up into 24 bucks and it tells the story of the Greek hero Odysseus King of Ithaca, on his way back home after his time in prison. The journey lasts for 10 years, during which he faces many risks. Something strange was seen off Rhode Island, 
At Westerly's East Beach, a strange round object has been found in the water, but no one knows what it is. The round object has stainless steel eggs in a concrete cap. It looks like a metal starfish because it has eight arms that go down from the middle," said Peter Brockman, president of the East Beach Association. The object is about 60 to 70 yards west of the entrance to Atlantic Avenue, toward the Watch Hill Lighthouse. It is about 4.5 feet long. An excavator pulled the round metal object out of the water near East Beach and Westerly. It is much bigger than anyone thought before. Peter Brockman, president of the East Beach Association, told the Westerly Sun that he hopes anyone who sees a news story about the object will know what it is before it is taken away. The best guess was that it was an acoustic Doppler profiler used to measure currents, but the object that was taken away is about twice as big. It was found on the beach near Taylor Swift's oceanfront home. Brockman said that the harbor master has never seen or heard of it, so many locals haven't seen it since last summer. Before it's a total puzzle, Brockman said that people have told him everything, from that it was made by aliens to that it was made by the Army Corps of Engineers. Some URI scientists think it is a seafloor mount for an acoustic Doppler imaging device, Brockman said, but the question is still, how did it get here? It's strange because it's not a floating object, it's quite heavy. Brockman has painted a fence to keep surfers and swimmers safe in the area. What do you think of the things archaeologists and scientists have found underwater? Are you surprised? Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for coming to watch.